Crazy. Oh wow. Well. I'm not lowering it, so don't ask me. Uh, we have a trapdoor and a platform. The candidate who is becoming a royal archmason represents a craftsman while the temple is being restored under King Josiah. Guy in the big chair represents King Josiah, who says the temple, after 50, 60 years, has to be restored and put back to its former glory. And uh, it's all in the Old Testament. Is the temple in Jerusalem? Is there a trace of it now? It's called the Wailing Wall. Okay, it's the, the remains wall. of the okay. second or th third temple, we're not quite sure, but the wall is the only lasting ah. remain of... It's the basement. Yeah, it, it okay. is the basement part of the second temple. Okay. The second temple hasn't been built yet, according to this. This is all first temple. The craftsman, who becomes a royal archmason, goes into the foundations of the temple, wherein he discovers lost secrets. The lost secrets of the master mason. So right here, where I'm standing, there's a little table, with a set of symbols sitting on a stone cube, a uh, gold brass triangle with the name of God in Hebrew, just like that, only much smaller. Three coins, three squares, and a Bible. And they're all taken up and they're explained to him, and it's a very nice moment, very nice piece of ceremony, I have to say. We are now only one of three or four Masonic buildings left on the island with a big trapdoor to this degree. And it's because this building was designed to be very elaborate and to cater for everything. Um, it was only two or three months ago it was all taken apart and refurbished and put back together. Strong as an ox, put anything on that thing, and uh, goes down about 10 feet. Okay. It, goes down a long, a lot, it goes down a lot more than I thought it did until we, all took, until we took it apart. Um, and I'm not sending anyone down, sorry. <laughs> What I might do, though, is, for the sake of tours, I wonder should I lower it and let you see the symbols? I will. You're a very, very nice tour. You're much nicer than yesterday's tour. <laughs> they were asking more awkward questions. Oh, they asked no questions. That's the problem. Right. I like awkward questions. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. It's, it's not when you're bringing the guy back up, especially if he's over. So know. somebody stands <laughs> on that. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> have you been in other lodges that you have been, have you? Yeah. Okay. Now, if you, uh, if you want to come over here, you can kind of see what I'm talking about, a little table with a set of symbols on it. Oh. Can't stand in the light, really, but it's oh, yes, right there. There should be a light. No? The light obviously isn't yes, working now. anymore. No, it's right. working. What is that? Really? Oh, there's putting them. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Cool. Nice, yeah. nice. So, the thing about our ceremonies. Wow, it's amazing. Some people think it's a lot of fun to walk around a field hitting a tiny white ball with an oddly shaped metal club. They call it a game, they call it golf. I don't get it at all. I find it really stupid. I just don't like it. I find dull. I find it really dull and really boring. Golf, save yourself. I, I, I can't bear it. Yeah. That being said, I think this game is great crack. You know what I mean? It's horses for courses. But our ceremonies and our traditions are really just the game we play. Some people are in a golf club, and you'd be wasting your money if you didn't play golf. And this is the game we play. Would you agree with that? Thank God. Um, I'm going to take you upstairs, and I've got two more rooms to show you, which are very, again, very